All right, you guys, we're back at it for vlog number five. I'm super happy about this one. My son's job is to edit this vlog. We have a competition, father-son competition. Either way, this vlog is about fishing. This is about uh, shark fishing. Right now, we're at Matagorda in the dead of winter in December, trying to fish for sandbars. Right now, weather-wise, temperature is about 40 degrees out there. Wind, not too bad. It's only about 15, 20 miles an hour wind. Should be some pretty, uh, pretty exciting times today. We're gonna try to get some really cool footage. The sandbars are eating jacks right now, so all I brought is jack for bait. I'm about to set out a whole bunch of jacks right now, probably four lines, and we're just gonna try to crush it and work hard and probably be freezing. You know what I was just thinking? I really love shark fishing and I like watching these teams shark fish. Some of these teams though, I don't know how they even catch fish. I don't even I don't even know where they were taught the way they do things. But uh, one thing is for sure, I'm super competitive. So I just watched a video uh, with shark and with seaweed. Man, that guy's a beast, man. Three hammerheads for, for real? Three? But anyways, man, I'm just sitting back here like, I can handle it, man. I can handle five hammerheads in one day. Me and my team can handle anything. Problem is, we gotta drive across the nation to catch fish. Here in Texas, man, it's just so hard to fish. We have so many things going against us. And what's the reward? A four foot bull? A four foot bull? Don't be talking smack on people from Texas. Look at what we have to do to catch fish. We kill ourselves to catch fish. I'm out here freezing to death to catch a six foot sandbar. This is wild. Anyways, I love shark fishing. Just thought I'd say that. All right. Other than that, Wyatt, good luck with this vlog. We're out of here. double drop real quick so I got the uh, weight right there the copper weight I love the copper weight and then the cop the other weight right there that's three thirty second two jack chunks I'm going smaller baits smaller baits because the last trip I missed probably three runs and I think it's because my bait is was too big so I have jack chunks and I'm running two at once right now. fixing to drop the first bait now the trick is you have to be fast so here's the first one bend the weight back throw the weight down let the weight sink it's, it's, it's way deep here throw the bait away and then kayak to the right away from it to get the other line out see I have the other line so now I'm gonna veer right some to get away from that bait. And on this one, 
I'm gonna go about maybe a hundred strokes further out and then drop. Second bait, I'm gonna go sideways. Gotta be fast. Always remember to bend the leg back. Slide the weight down if it's a sliding and not a mouse trap. That's super deep, perfect. Oh, look at that. Throw the bait away. All right, I mean no bad juju, but I'm gonna call it now. If Julian gets hooked up to any good fish, any good shark, he will get spooled. Look at his reels. Um, um, I don't think it's a good idea, we'll see. Take my head off. Y'all, I don't even have time to vlog. We already got a sandbar. Already got a sandbar. What up, my man? Already, okay, so we're gonna tag this real quick. I don't even know if it's 8.30 yet. Okay, pull, pull. I'm good up here. Straighten her out. I got my phone in my other hand. I'm a little bit handicapped right now. We gotta be quick, quick. Put her sideways. Huh? All right, I should go ahead. Go, go. Five. Get the fork. 65, 53 and a half. Okay. <laughs> 65, 53. They're all released, sir. messed up but when the fishing is slow you get filler footage so I love candy I know I shouldn't eat it my wife tells me all the time I have health issues but I absolutely love candy here's what I'm doing to Julian so first of all I ate all his candy and it's even worse so I'm putting in his shell stick this is trash
go this way to show you guys a little something that they do in Texas. I haven't seen this myself, but this guy drove over the wade gut to fish on the sandbar, so I don't know, maybe it, maybe it works well. Personally, I wouldn't want to be stuck there uh, when tide comes up, but uh, here's his setup. Pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty interesting. Huh. You know what I really love about driving on the beach in Texas? I love how the beaches are, well, Matagorda is, Matagorda is 20 miles long and people still set up right on top of you. I don't get it. This guy is like 300 yards, 400 yards from us. I mean, it's still far away, but when you have 20 miles of beach, why set up right next to me? I'm about to get an update on the car that was fishing on top of the sandbar. Looks like he may be a professional. He's driving right now. Maybe a professional, maybe a professional. Um, I, I, I can't tell you if he's a professional or not still. I don't know if he was a professional because the water was up to his door. Maybe a professional, maybe a professional. The water was up to his door. That was insane. I don't know, I, I, I'm still undecided if he's a professional. That was wild. That was wild. He just sent it right here, right here. Here's at least three and a half feet deep of water. He's all right, crazy. And also something else that's interesting. There is a car on the beach. There's a car. It's Texas. All right, my final conclusion is that guy was a noob and did not know what he was doing. Because how could you do that and gun it the way he did without testing the depth? He didn't even test the depth. Some of these places are like above my belly button when I'm waiting out. The weight gut, noob for sure. Final answer. All right, we're about halfway through. And it is slow. I still feel like Wyatt has a better chance with this vlog over the vlog that I just did. Uh, just because I've already caught a shark, so that's done. And uh, he got the, we got the cool footage of that truck going in like three feet of water in a ditch, a water ditch. So I still feel like he has the better hand being dealt. But other than that, it's been slow. And we haven't even caught a redfish or a whiting just at sandbar. So hopefully it's magic time here shortly, but we're about halfway through. It's almost noon. We'll be back shortly. The bait's going on the, on the black one. Too early or too late somehow. Weird, man. Weird sometimes. Come on, fishy. Get on there. Commit.
bull shark here. What a... No, it's a bull. All right, got that puppy out. Check that out, all those sensors on his nose, that helps him find all the food. Those are a couple little parasites. Pretty, pretty normal. Okay, Wyatt. That one was for you. That was the last stop of the day. I got two more baits out. We'll only be here another two hours, maybe. But uh, it was pretty bad out there. I got two of those two little small chunks of jack. We're ready to go. But uh, regardless why, at least we got some more filler, filler minutes. But that one was for you, buddy. Love you. We're alive. All right, well, that was a, a little bull. Uh, better something than nothing, so I'm gonna do one more run before we kind of start packing up. I'm gonna run these little jack chunks, keep the bait a little bit smaller, I'm gonna sharpen the hooks, and that's it, but I'm gonna give it one more shot, wish us luck. It would be nice to catch, for, it would be nice to catch something. Personally, that would be in a six foot range, but uh, I still feel blessed with that one sandbar, or Julian catch something as well. Wish us luck, we're out of here. All right, guys, we're fixing a pack in right now. We tried hard. We leave two out, but we're reeling in. We gotta go. I'm exhausted. I can barely even function right now. Sorry, Wyatt, I tried. Love you, buddy. Like I said, this one was for you. See you guys next time. professional